Well, hello everyone. How you doing? Welcome and thank you for joining me into another OP TCG Sim gameplay with your leader featuring Don Quixote's Rosie Rante. So, without any further delays, let's dive in straight away into the deck and then we're gonna play a few matches. Now, this leader has a base power of 5000, it is multicolored in green and blue, and his effect consists in the following. First of all, this leader is also a blocker, and the second effect is if my hand has 6 cards or less, I can set this leader as active, therefore it can attack, and it can go back as active to become a blocker. Now, let's explore the deck a bit further. I'm running useless Captain Kid because it brings a huge, huge value into this deck, through the fact that if I attach one down to him and I rest this card, I can play a cost of 3 or less character into the field, and if this character is rested, guess what? My opponent cannot attack any other opponent except useless Captain Kid, therefore, I just have a huge blocker into the field, plus I got an extra blocker with him, and a few other blockers which I'm gonna discuss in a bit. I'm running Viola only for the 2k counter, nothing more. Sugar brings so much value in this deck through the fact that she's a Donkey Hawk's pirate card, and also it can rest all of my opponent characters anytime they get played. I'm running uh, Doom Flamingo um, 10 cost, which on play can just rest, uh, hold down, and uh, 3 of my opponent rested characters do not become active, which is great. BB5, 2k counter, just for the 2k counter, nothing much. And then Donkey Hawk's Rosy Dante blocker as well, because this card has a massive, massive synergy with useless Captain Kid. Now, if my opponent wants to KO this character, I can just flash this card. Even if they try to use an effect like a Red Rock or Raigo from the yellow card, event card, I can use Rosirante. BB5 Searcher, just this card does, doesn't need any explanation, it's just a Searcher anyway. Monet, another blocker, which can work out in synergy with Jesus Captain Kid, but also, on block, I can rest one of my opponent characters with a cost of 4 or less. I'm running Jewelry Bonnie, just to look out for my Jesus Captain Kid, so most of this deck is pure focus in this card, nothing more. Don't kill Zone Flamingo, this blocker as well, another blocker actually, so, as you can see, most of this deck is built out, out of blockers. However, this Doofy brings a lot of value as well because it has synergy with this useless Captain Kid, but also I can sort out the top 5 cards on my deck. By doing so, I can play another synergy with Sanji. Because if I do play this Sanji, guess what? Cost 9, I can play useless Captain Kid, give 1 down to him, rest him, play 1 of my blocker, and I have a huge board from early stage of the game, uh, mid late stage of the game. Now, I'm running Gyor. This Navy card is really good actually, through the fact that it has 2k counter power, but also if my opponent in my turn activates an event card, guess what? He has to place 1 card from their hand to the trash. And uh, to the bottom of the deck, sorry. Shallow Pudding, I always say that, if you're running a Blood Leader, you must, must, must run Shallow Pudding, because this character brings so much value. On play, if my opponent has uh, opponent has to return all the cards they have in their hand, and draw 5 cards out of it. I already spoke with Sanji, about Sanji, I'm running only uh, 2 cards for uh, uh, 0 cost event, just to have um, a bit of protection in case I need them, but 90% of the time I realize I don't use this card. There were occasions where I used it, but 90% is okay, I don't even need that. Then, Red Rock, as I said already, if you have a Blood, uh, blue Leader, you must run Red Rock, at least, at least 2 of them, and... As always, we must run at least two Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. And that's pretty much it for the deck. It's a very simple deck, but very, very powerful and very, very um, defensive play. But believe me, it is extremely, extremely strong. You're going you're gonna to enjoy the videos which are coming up very, very soon. So guys, stay tuned, because the gameplays which are about to come are very, very nice. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're playing against NL. So first thing first, thing first let's drop in our Searcher, let's grab our beautiful, beautiful Don Flamingo, and let's end our turn. Now, I believe you're going to put eight, uh, 3 downs to NL and attack to my BB5, which is acceptable, honestly. However, if you decide to go 6 or something lower than that, like 5 or 6, I'll just use my Rosirante blocker and use one card from my hand. Then, then. Okay, so... Nothing much you can do, however, however... Um... I'm gonna sugar her, and gonna go 7, and get rid of this card immediately because it brings too much value to Annals. Draw to card, trash one card every time is way, way too valuable. I'm not gonna let him have that so easily. Now, get up to coming to play, getting rid of my sugar, definitely, or my baby 5. High chance you're gonna get rid of my sugar. Very, very high chance. However, let's see what we can do around that. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, definitely this is a get up round. Nothing else he can play around that, and maybe he can go fight to life. Oh, Shirahoshi! Okay, okay. You played yourself. Playing at this stage, Shirahoshi, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. Okay, there you go. That's Shirahoshi rested, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's go 0-0, zero to zero. I mean, you're just gonna give it out anyway. Now, let's do a quick search, let's see. Ooh, we are losing our beautiful Lisa's Captain Kid, which is fine. Which is not fine, honestly, but it's okay. Um, now, let's sort out the top cards. There is nothing which I need out of value at the moment, so I'm just gonna send it on the bottom of my deck. And then I'm gonna go... Like just a quick 7 to life, and let my opponent grab a few cards from, for himself. Yeah, just take this one please, uh, we all know that you're gonna take this hit anyway, and from the next turn you're gonna play something around that, such as, like you have 8 cards already in your hand, you already fixed your hand a bit, now I'm gonna drop in my shallow pudding very 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 soon. So, 5 coming in, let's see, let's see, which one are you not gonna read off? I'll be like, uh, no, I'm uh, sorry, oh yeah, I had more than 6 cards so, hmm, you know what? You can have it, because if we drop a Gidatsu, it's gonna be kinda of dangerous or annoying, so I cannot take the risk at the moment. Okay, Unami, okay, you're trashing a card from your hand, and you're KOing my Sugar, I believe. So let's go. Oh, you're not KOing anyone? You may trash a card with your trigger in your hand, and KO. 
Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. So, let's go. Let's play it a bit strategically. So, it's gonna be 7 here. Yeah, I'm able to do all of them. So, maximum is a 7. So, let's go like... Hmm. Do I want to go for heavy? No, I want to get rid of this. I want to keep board control, but there's no point anyway. I've got a gravity blade. So, yeah, let's go 7 to life. Let my opponent take a life. And then from there, we'll play around that. I doubt he's gonna give me 2k from his hand at this stage of the game. Because he already fixed his hand. Fixed, it, fixed his hand. Now, 8 cards. There you go. Take goodbye to all your strategy. And then we're gonna go... 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 7. To Nami, you have to give me 1, 2k and 1, 1k from your hand. Great, great stuff. Now, next, I can play my Doofy. And start to have a bit of board presence. Or, I can play... Sure, I mean, uh, be my guest. Feel free to have you. Yams. I don't know how much valuable it can be. But, what I can do is play Doofy. Uh, sure, I'm gonna rest your Yamato then. And I'm gonna put every don I got just to get rid of him then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, 15 to 9 should be a good... Actually, no, no, no. What am I doing? I'm getting, I'm getting crazy. I was about to play, make a huge, huge mistake. Doofy is available. Why am I not playing Doofy? I was about to go 15 to Yamato for no reason at all. Where I can just play Doofy and next turn, take my time and hit him again. Sure, there you go. Ace is rested as well. And then I'm gonna get rid of the East then. No chance I'm leaving Ace into the field. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 to Ace. 16. So it's gonna be 2, 4, 6. You have, like, say goodbye to your Ace. You need to be all the cards in your hand now. And then, let's play Doofy. Great hand. Let's grab Red Rock next. And with Doofy, we're gonna play... With Sanji, we're gonna play him. And we can play him out of it. And then, Doofy... Yeah, I don't wanna play Doofy for a long, long time anyway. So I'm just gonna keep going like that. And then I got 6. Okay, let's what? 6 to life. Okay. Now, I've got one Gravity Blade, which is not bringing me, bringing me much of a value anyway. So I have to think how to play around that. Because next, I'm gonna get a Red Rock anyway. So I can Red Rock any of his Ace or Yamato or any of his big body which he wants to play around. Wow. So, 12. Um, no, it's gonna be like 2. And one easy, one sugar gone. There you go. That was uh, extremely, extremely risky. I don't know why you've done that. Um, Grant to trash. I'm gonna trash one card. Okay, and let's rest Big Mom. Ooh, it was another Red Rock. Okay, we're doing okay. You know why? Because we still got board control. Sugar. What about no? And they are gonna give you 2k. Sugar is way, way too valuable in this matchup at the moment. Now, let's Red Rock his uh, Yams then. Or shall we play the combo? Actually, let's do the combo first. Combo, deploy, and then, if he's rested, let's rest him. Choose no target, but I want to keep him rested. Let's get rid of mom. Let's see, you have to give me two, uh, one 2k one, one, and 1k. One, one, two, okay. We are hand starving him as well. Um, on top of that, I got a red rock in my hand, which is extremely, extremely valuable now. On top of that, I got one, two, let's see, I got one, two, three blockers, and few counters in my hand. Now, I might give, him, give out Dofi, might do, might not do. I have to see how to play around that. If he only swings with 9, I'm going to easily counter that with 2k in my hand. And then next turn, I'm going to red rock whatever he plays. So, what do you want to do? I want to keep both control, nothing more. So, 9, absolutely not. So, it's going to be 1 and 1. Now, you need to commit a lot, a lot, a lot of dons. You messed up. You, you should have committed a few dons, but now you're in trouble. You're, you're in big, big trouble. So, 8 to 8. Um, I can just get it to my life. Let's see. Another beautiful Dofi. And now, if you commit all the dons you got here, I'm going to just play with... I'm going to just gonna use my Dofi blocker. Uh, sure, he's getting rested. <laughs> And that's it. Now, Red Rock, no, there's nothing you can do, actually. Red Rock, your ace, definitely. So, Red Rock him, your ace, say goodbye to that. Then, one down goes to you, which you can go... Okay, yeah, nine to mom. So, you have to give me 2k from your hand. Let's see if you're gonna give it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Actually, 12, so you have to give me... Okay, you know what? 12, two yams. Yeah, I don't think you have enough country anymore, because you've got rid of all of them, and I'm gonna go 10 to big mom. And we're gonna go fight to life. And now we are golden. Whatever he plays, I'm gonna arrest him immediately. Another ace coming in, no problem. I'm gonna arrest him immediately. And then I'm gonna attack with Dofi. I got a huge, huge board, and my opponent has no way to counter it out. Now, let's see, Raigo, does he have Raigo? Okay, there is one Raigo here. Yams coming in, getting rid of my sugar then. Yep, it was predictable, and it's acceptable as well. However, however, I can go, I can go for game actually now. So now let's go 9 to life. Let's see, let's see. Okay, that's one gone. Another 9 to life. Okay, two more K, please. Okay, great stuff. Let's go again. Uh, 10 to life then. Okay, let's hope his end. And then, I, whatever I got, whatever I got. Ooh, I cannot attack? No, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. There you go, Rosie Grant into play and end our turn. Now, the Capone saved you a bit. However, you are, you don't have enough counterpart to KO my kid. Because I still got two more lives, which I can play around that. So I got one, two, three, four blockers. So, let's see, he's trying again. How much is it? Uh, use click card action, of course. Which means, you won't even be able to kill anyone because, guess what? My Donkey Old Rosinante was in field. 9, so it's gonna be 1 and 1, 2. Great stuff, and that's game value. Because now, even if you swing to life, okay, that's fine. So, 9. 
9, 9, 10, whatever it is, you won't be able to win anyway now. There you go. You can catch one card, play around it, that's fine. Let's see. Okay, that's one gone. There you go, another swing coming up to freeze. If it's a zero cost event, there is nothing I can do, and that's 10 to life, and that's the game. GG, buddy. GG. Okay, so we are playing against Bello Betty. Now, let's move in our hand, and let's see what we find. Great stuff, with a great, great starting hand. To the fact that we get one of the use of Scarpen Kid, one blocker with Durante, and few uh, searchers. Great, great starting hand. Now, let's see what we can do from now on. Uh, my opponent decided to get a Karasu, which is extremely, extremely valuable, especially with Bello Now, for us, we're just going to do our quick search and get another Rose Durante in our hand, and end our turn. Now, if Bello Betty cost, uh, the searcher Bello Betty wants to get rid of my searcher, um, actually, you know what, I can counter it out. I will counter it out, because I want to keep one of the searches alive, only to the fact that I want to keep doing a couple of searches and build up my hand as well. So, let's see if he becomes, um, uh, how to say, extremely confident. So, no, he's going like, for five, mm, you know what, you can have it done. Because I don't want to waste cards from my hand yet. We have three Rosirante, which, which is absolutely fantastic. And on top of that, he's playing, yeah, he's playing a few cards around that. Now, let's do another quick search. Let's see who we can get. Sugar, which is extremely, extremely valuable. And we're going to rest. Bello Betty cost uh, the searcher one. The only reason I didn't rest uh, Inazuma is only to the fact that he might have to kick out in his hand. It would be easy for him to counter it out. However, to counter it out for Bello Betty, he needs to give me a um, few cards from his hand, which is not valuable, honestly. Now, let's see what my opponent wants to do. He's going to be at five down turn. And from there, he will be able to play something around that. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Ivankov, so he's building up his board. Okay, and let's rest. Mm, Inazuma, only to the fact that at least you're gonna have one less attacker. Sure, you can have him, and but these two characters are not bringing you any value at the moment. Now, let's do another quick research before she gets, he gets removed. Doofy, great, great card. But, mm, may be able to be KO'd, I'm not sure. But it is what it is. And we're gonna do another quick research just to see if we find another use of Captain Kid. And we managed to get nobody, which is okay. Don't draw any. Now, let's go back to Inazuma now. Because I want to be sure that I might be able to get rid of him. Let's see, maybe, maybe not. Okay, he's decided to let it go. Let's place him on top. Great start. So, I want to get... Let's see. Mm, maybe a 2k counter for the time being. And then I'm going to play Eustace and Eustace and Dofi and play around that. Yep, or... Let's grab Sugar. No, Sugar's not bringing me any value. So let's grab... Uh, yeah, let's go like this. 2k counter. Eustace. Or not. Mm, yeah, okay. That should do. That should be good. Okay. Now, I need to be ready to get a lot, a lot of attacks now. And they're going to be heavy, heavy attackers. I'm at 6, 7, yeah, they're going to be heavy, heavy hits coming up towards me. Luckily, he's still not in the range to play Dragon, which is okay. However, this Bello Betty is going to become extremely, extremely dangerous right, right now. Especially to the fact that he's going to use her effect. Ooh, build up a crazy board actually now. A crazy one. Ooh, so he's not using Bello Betty's effect. Interesting. Um, Of course, of course, I'm not even going to try to protect it anymore. They're not bringing me any more value. I already have my hand sorted out. Uh, 5 to face, I can give you one more Rosinante, which is okay. And 7. 7 or not, Bello Betty, another search, wow, okay I don't know how heavily he's trying to build up his board But he's going extremely, extremely aggressive now And he's becoming more and more dangerous Another Ivankov, okay, however Kid, let's rest Kid, let's play Rosirante And then we're gonna go 5-2 Limberg now I want to keep board control as well, I want at least 1k from your hand now Sanji's gone, great stuff, that's not a problem Now, if I do manage to protect Eustace Captain Kid From the next turn, he's in big, big, big trouble So let's see because now there are big, big attacks coming up. He has his whole board filled up. I didn't manage to find a single gravity blade, which was extremely valuable in this matchup. So we need to find something. We need to be a bit more creative than that. So let's see. Okay, touching one card. And now topping up, I believe, one, two, and three. Yeah, and then play Karasu, giving minus one K to him, and start bombarding him as fast as he can. Now, if he doesn't attack with Limber first, I'm going to use Rosirante. The best course of action would be to play Karasu. Uh, yeah, Karasu, and then play around that. Let's see, Karasu, okay, give me minus 1k to my useless Captain Kid, and try to go as heavy as you can towards my useless Captain Kid, because you have big body and plenty of don't, so he's, he's kind of dangerous now, he's extremely dangerous, he's Bellobetti. Let's see if we manage to play something around that, I mean, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna use uh, Rosirante first, no, he's attacking Rosirante then. So then, hmm, I mean, it's gonna be kinda hard. Yeah, I'm gonna take it to life then, use the card action, of course, and cost 5 or less, use the card action, use a good back to one of your big hitter. Now, you have two, two of your big hitters, hopefully we'll be able to play something around that, we got extremely lucky, we got a gravity blade, however, I needed a gravity blade for later on this stage of the game, just to get rid of a few cards from him, but at the moment, I'm okay, I'm okay with that as well. Now, mm, let's see, he's seeing how to play around that now. Okay, big swing coming up. So it's 9, let's see, I can give 2 and 1k, so 2 and 1k. Okay, now you need to put all the down to Bello Betty and attack, but I'm gonna give you... I mean, you can attack my life as well, I'm more than happy to take it to life. Or you want to build up your board? I don't know yet. I don't know. Entirely up to you. 
the slim back needs to go away immediately then i'm gonna get rid of uh, bankov and then we have to see how to play around that so let's see what he wants to do okay charlotte cracker which means you're not getting rid of my useless captain kid and you're leaving him alive absolutely not so it's gonna be easy to kick counter i rather use a card from that so let's go like this uh nine to uh Ivankov or Limburg. Let's get rid of Limburg. Now, uh, let's red rock uh, uh, Karatsu. Now, my opponent needs to have less life than me. And let's get 1, 2, 3. And let's go 8 to Ivankov. And that's it. We should be good now. Now, this cracker is still not bringing any value because I still have less life than my opponent. So, it doesn't have double attack. It doesn't have plus 1 kick uh, power. Now, if he decides to go crazy amount of downs to play around that and go for my user captain kid, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, he's giving minus 2k to kid, which is okay. Mm, let's see. I'm in a tricky situation at the moment. Okay, so it's minus 3, he's at 5. Now you have 1 and 2 attackers then. Only. I don't think you're gonna attack with the low better. If you do, I mean, you'll be able to get rid of it. No, you're going like that. So you're gonna take it to life then. Another useless captain kit, not much of a value. However, let's go like this. And, sorry, let's rest him and let's play Sugar, which we're gonna rest Cracker. Let's give 1 to him, just so we go for sure, and go 1 to him. And let's attack Cracker. Yeah, let's get rid of Cracker then. Because it might be extremely, extremely dangerous. And we're going to go fight to life. And let's see if he gets a trigger or not. Any trigger? No trigger. We got, we got okay. We're okay. Now, we're okay as well. Because we have two of these as Captain Keys. So he, to, he can just get for one of the two. I don't want to let him have both of them. On top of that, I still got a block. I still got two blockers. Somehow, we're surviving now. Somehow. Now, whatever he plays now, my sugar going to rest him immediately. So let's rest Ivankov. So you already lost one of your big attackers. Now, nothing you can do because you have to attack my useless Captain Kid, which I'm not going to let you do that now. You need to commit a lot, a lot, a lot of dons to go for it. So, how are you going to play around it? Okay, so 11 to him. No, I'm going to rather take it to my life. Okay, great, great, great stuff. So, let's get rid of Ivankov. Let's go 9 to face. Let's play our beautiful Duffy. And let's sort out the top card life. I want another blocker. And another blocker. And that should be okay. And then whatever I got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Big swing to life. And leave it as it is. Okay, somehow we managed to recover from a terrible, terrible situation. Okay, you want to get rid of my sugar? Uh, that's annoying, but we have to go through the flow. Now, either my opponent goes heavily, heavily, heavily towards my useless captain kids, or we should be we should be okay. We've got one, two, three blocker. I can take one to life, and the other two just to protect my useless captain kid, and next turn, I have to go for game. I'm going to put like five down to him, five down to him, actually going to go one, one, and whatever I got left to useless captain kids, and then go again with Rosie Rante to life. The next turn is pretty much game. If my opponent doesn't win now, it's game. Great, great stuff. So he decides to go heavy, which is fair. Now, 7, you need to play at least one, uh, uh, how you call that? Uh, one of the Revolution Army card, uh, which can give minus 1k to one of my cards. Uh, Karasu, I think? Karasu, Karasu? Yeah. Other than that, we should be okay. Now, he's at 8, Ivankov is at 8, but I'm going to use one of my blocker. Okay, yeah, Karasu, Karasu, yeah, so I was absolutely correct. Now, how I can go around that? So that's minus 1, and you want to try to get rid of him. I mean, I can't even let him go, honestly, at this stage of the game. Or should I try to protect him? Let's think. So one couple of attacks coming up. Hmm. I have to decide now. I mean, he's going to be a lot of downs now. So that's 7 to 7. That's an easy no. One kick countered out. So that's one gone. One attack is gone already. Shoot, dragon? Wow. It was extremely, extremely risky to do that. I don't know if it's worth it. Because you have only two attacks now. Uh, sure. How much is it? 7? Seven? 7 to 7. I mean, I can give you one blocker or not. Then it's going to be 8 and 9. Hmm. So one blocker is gone. Eight, another blocker, and nine. I'm gonna take it to life, and that's game buddy. So that's nine, which I can give you another blocker. That's fine. And the last one, I'm gonna take it to my life. That's fine. And you have no more cards which can attack anymore, and that's game buddy. So GG. So one, two, three, four, five. Big five k, thirteen k swing, and then another big thirteen k swing, and that's game pretty much. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Thirteen and thirteen. Great, great stuff. Okay, so he had only 2 and 3k worth of counter, so that's his pretty much. Great, great stuff. Okay, so we are playing against the green, blue, Rorono Zoro and Sanji. Now, it's going to be a great, great matchup because it's due to the fact that we are both exactly the same colored leaders. However, we play different decks. Now, he plays most likely the 7 Warlord of the version, whether I do play a different kind of gameplay. So, I can go like 6 to life first. Let's see if my opponent wants to give me 2k from his hand. Great stuff. And then we're going to play our Searcher and let's look for Arosirante. We got a Sugar then. Yeah, we're going to grab Sugar then, which is, is still valuable. Now, I already have a Gravity Blade ready for his board, which I'm going to use a 
as soon as it needs to be used, honestly. Because I cannot let my opponent to be lava his board extremely, extremely quick. It's due to the fact that this leader can let one of his characters swing at least two times, I think, or three. I don't remember when I played. When I already made a video of him or with this leader, but I don't remember um how was the effect. Uh you may return one of your cost two or higher characters to the owner's hand and set up to one of your power seven thousand or less character as active. Now uh sure I just wanna use Rosinant as a blocker, which means you cannot have it. And six to la uh, six to him, that's fine. Let's see. Look at it. Two cards from the top of your deck, develop one of seven more of the six type of cards and add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of the deck. Okay, wow. Um, sure, you can have it, that's fine. I'm not gonna try anymore. Now, uh, let's go, let's play Sugar then. Let's rest him and let's attack him then. So at least it, it doesn't gonna bring him any more value. I mean, if you wanna give me two, two k from your hand, I'm more than happy to take them, honestly. Now, then, Doofy, uh, great, great hand. Mm, let's see. I'm at five, six, seven, that's fine, which I'm not gonna play. And then I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna run it after that. Great, great stuff. Now, my opponent's gonna be at 6 dawn, which means he's gonna start to build up his board. Uh, sure, let's rest. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's rest Weevil then. And I got the feeling my opponent wants to go for my Sugar. However, however, now. 3, that's 4. If you're gonna go 6, I'm gonna give you my Leaders. Leader effect. It's gonna be like Blocker Staff. I, I, I need to wait for my opponent to decide whether he wants to take a card back or not. Uh, sure, I'm gonna go like this. And 2k. Great, great stuff. And we're gonna try again. And now there's nothing I can do about it. Now. I can gravity blade him now. Or 3 6 and build up my board. So I'm gonna go like this. So let's go 6 here. And then I'm gonna go 1 and 1 2. And that's it. Now I'm opponent to think that I have no other cards, valuable cards in my hand. Okay, Jim again. Weevil, you're filling up the board now. Although, um, you can get only one of them back in your hand. Which means I'm gonna send, I'm gonna rest. Mm, let's see. Depending on which one you attack with first. Okay, you're attacking with Jim then. To life. Mm. But you can set him back active. Mm, okay, let's take the first seed, that's not a problem. Okay, don't times one. You can return this character to your hand. Okay. So blocker and rest him. That's it. So it which means he cannot attack anymore. Now. Now. I know I can de I should develop my board. However, I want to get rid of my opponent's board now. There you go, gravity blade, goodbye. We are okay, good to go again. Seven. Now he has to go for the circle again and start from scratch again. Now, if I do manage to find that Charlotte pudding, I will destroy my opponent's hand immediately. So, Jimmy, wow, he's just building up a crazy board now. Jimbe Weevil, Jimbe Weevil, okay, he had a crazy amount of cards in his hand. Um, so, let's go with Blocker, no, nope, or no Blocker. Yeah, why not Blocker, and let's rest his Jimbe, and from now on, it's my time. There you go, it's just Captain Kid coming to play, let's play Doofy. Start placing them on the top, because I want Charlotte Pudding immediately now, and from there, we're okay. Let's put on one down here, and we're gonna go 6 to life. Most likely my opponent is going to take that or going to counter it out, that's strange, but it's, it's okay. Because he needs to commit a lot now. He needs to commit crazy amount of dawns, crazy amount of cards. Okay, that's 8. I'm not, I'm not going to let you have that easily, so there you go, you're going to have one more Okay, 2 again. There you go, that's 2 again. 1, 2, 3. So there you go, I, I'm going to protect him. If I can protect him easily, I'm going to protect him. Now 1, 2, 3, but he won't be able to use the leader effect after that. Okay, which is interesting. How many cards he has? 7. Okay. Now. I can go. 9 to Weevil now. And he has to give me the blocker. Okay, that's fine. Then, putting into the field. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Big swing to Weevil. Thank you to Weevil. And he needs to go away now. Okay, great stuff. Let's see if we manage to counter this one out as well. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 attacks coming up. Now, 1, 2, 8. I'm going to take it to my life. Oh, great, great stuff. Say goodbye to one of your attackers. One. Okay. Two, three. Okay. So that's going to be here. Okay, so that's seven. Another one, please. Eight. And you're going to return maybe this one and get Weevil back then, which is the most valuable card. Mm, no, I'm going to give you the blocker because I want you to attack again with Weevil, which you're not. Interesting. Oh, yeah, he's not 8k. You flopped. So one, two, three. So let's go 7, 8, to Weevil, so at least I want to get a few cards from your hand now, 8, 9, okay, so I'm gonna go heavy, there you go, you won't be able to counter this one out, great stuff, and then that's 6 to life, and now you have no more rush cards, great, great stuff, if you're gonna commute all the dots you have, just, just remove my useless Captain Kid, you might do that, however, you're gonna lose one turn completely, so, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, I believe, 11, yeah, he's trying, but he forgot one major important factor, but that my Rosirante is a blocker, he forgot that, so, Jinbei to Mihawk, Let's see, let's see, who else you wanna play? Great stuff. Now, we're gonna rest his uh, Jimbe, so we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4. Big swing to Jimbe, 12 to Jimbe. I mean, even if you protect that with all the cards you have, you'll be in trouble. So 5, 6, 
we'll go 6 to face. 7, okay, 2k counter, and then we'll go 7 again, and that's it pretty much. Now. Okay, so what does this draw one card? Okay, the trigger is fine. 6 cards in your hand. You're getting self Jimbe, so let's rest your Mihawk, I believe. Now, doing it again. However, you have to understand the fact that I can go for game next turn if you don't play any good card. Uh, okay, so one of your leader gains 2,000. Is it 7 all of this? No. So, this will be a character. Okay, you're committing again and again a lot of dons. So, how many? How much is it? 8? 8 to 8. I don't even gotta use my Rosalind as a blocker now. Sure. Uh, there you go. That's one. Thank you, counter. That's easy gone. And then we have to see what we can do. Okay. You're drawing cards. Now, b coming to play. Definitely looking for one of my blockers. Brilliant. So, Rosalind into play. That's fine. Now, we can go... I'm gonna keep board control now. I don't wanna play anything around that. So, let's go... Actually, 9 to life. First of all. And from there, we're gonna clear his board. We're gonna go 3 and 7 and 7. And these two characters, is, they're almost impossible to be protected. Okay, one more card, please. Great stuff. So, 1, 2, 3. So, one of them is gone already. And 1, 2. And we're gonna attack again. And this one is gone again. We managed to come make a huge, huge comeback from an absolutely terrible situation. We were almost ready to lose. And somehow, we managed to play around that. Sure, we're gonna rest his Don Flamingo and we're gonna proceed from there. Now, I go, the thing I'm gonna do is gonna take my, replace my BB5. We want another quick search. Let's see if we find another blocker, which we do. And we're gonna replace our BB5 again with another blocker. So, we're gonna play it safe. Now, 10 to life. And that's it pretty much. Great, great stuff. Now, we made a terrible mistake again. <laughs> Absolutely terrible mistake. We forgot to leave one down to our useless Captain Kid. However, our opponent decided to leave because let's think. One swing here. No, 10 to uh, Kid block. Another swing block. Yeah, I mean, I could have just blocked. I had three blockers anyway. We made a huge mistake. However, we managed to win anyway. Okay, let's go for another game then. Okay, so we are playing against starting deck six Sakazuki. Interesting, extremely interesting to see this leader around. And I don't get to see many of them play, be played. So let's see. Activate main, once per turn, you have to use three don cards. You may trash one card from your hand and KO up to one of your opponent character with a cost of zero. Okay, it's kind of risky, but it is what it is. Now, let's play our BB5 searcher. Let's see who we can get. Sugar? Mm, I don't need another sugar, so I'm just gonna grab two K counters in my hand and pass my turn. Now, Marineford, on play, give up to one of your opponent characters minus one cost for the turn. Okay. Activate main, you may rest this stage. And if your leader has navy type, okay, give up to one of your opponent characters minus one for the turn. Interesting. But I believe the one from the CP0 brings more value than this one. Okay. So if, if you wanted to play navy cards, you should have gone with the. Uh, I think with the CP deck, uh, with Roblox you, which I believe brings much more value. Now, uh, you may rest this character and give minus 2 to one of your opponent uh, character for the turn, which is fine. I mean, if you want to go for my BB5, go ahead. I don't want to be the one stopping you. Now, let's rest her. Let's see who we get. Beautiful, beautiful. Our Doofy. Then, hmm. Shall I play Sugar? Yeah, let's play Sugar, actually. Let's rest him. And let's go strike to, to Tashigi. I want to know if he wants to get rid of two cards from his hand or not now. And also, there is the fact that I am already starting to develop my... Uh, I'm just trying to ramp up, sorry, my Dawn cards at the moment because I want to make sure to get as many uh, Dawns as I can to play my beautiful useless Captain Kid as soon as possible. Now, I'm a 6. Maybe next I'm gonna play Doofy. I don't know. Let's see how I can play around that. He decided to put, protect his Tashigi, which is okay. I mean, it's a swinger. He can attack. On top of that, he can just give minus 2 to one of my characters. But however, however, I'm not giving you any opportunity at the moment to play any shenanigans, such as removing a few cards. I mean, if you want to... Uh, sure, I guess. If you want to remove my sugar, I mean, you want to attack uh, baby five and then remove my sugar. You can try that as well, which is okay. Um, okay, he decided to go for it like that, and he's gonna go seven to my baby five again. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can even play my actually. Let's protect her and let's get rid of Bonnie then. There you go, great stuff. I had a block in my field, which you didn't realize. Okay, six dons. I mean, shall I play? Yeah, let's play her in case my opponent wants to play any. Uh, any characters, uh, any event card actually. He has to trash an extra card from his hand. And we're gonna grab another BB5 then. Sugar. No, let's grab Sugar. It's more valuable. And we're gonna go 6 again to Tashigi. And hopefully we'll be able to get rid of it now. Because he has to give me 2 cards from his hand now. It's kinda risky to do that. Okay, great, great stuff. Now, next, I'm gonna get 8 done. And from there, we're gonna be in full control, honestly. So let's see what my opponent wants to do. I really wanna play this Doofy, but however, I got the feeling most of his characters don't, don't gonna be rested in time. So, use of Captain gonna bring more, more value to that. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So, when attacking you, up to one of your opponent characters, minus 4 cost during the turn. So, it's the same as Kuzan, actually. However, it's a cost 5 with 6,000 beast power, which is more more powerful than that. Okay, now. Again, um, let's see. He has 2 downs left. He cannot rest any downs, so I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to give you mm, 2k, because that's the value of this card for me at the moment. It's not bring me any other value on top of that. And next, uh, mm, actually, I shouldn't have protected her. I think she... No, 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 no. My mistake. 
Yeah, she's still valuable. She's still valuable at the moment. Now, two downs left. I mean, I don't know how much, what else you can do. You may just discard your demons to one of my, your opponent characters. No, definitely not gonna let you have this character into the field, so say goodbye to him. Great, great stuff. Okay, so let's do a quick research and then. Rosirante finally. And nothing much I can do at the moment. Let's play Doofy then. Fantastic. So start placing on top. Which means I'm gonna grab. Next, I'm gonna draw Doofy. Uh, sorry. My beautiful Sanji. And I'm gonna play Use as Captain Kid with him. And then maybe grab a 2k counter because I don't need anyone else for the time being. Now, I still got two dons left. And I think, I think I can play Rosirante. I can play him, but I don't want to take the risk. So I'm just gonna go 7 to life and let my opponent draw a card from that. Let's see, let's see. I don't wanna play Rosirante yet. Only to the fact that I'm gonna be a 10 down next, I'm gonna play my useless Captain Kid after one after another, and my opponent will not be able to remove every single one of them. Now, whatever we place now, I'm gonna rest Sengoku, which means his effect is will not come become valuable at all. And from there we'll see what we can do. Now my opponent is in a big, big troublesome situation due to the fact that he has no character into the field. He's trying to go for few removals, but as I said before, Rob Lucci is more valuable than that. So there you go, you play Tashigi, great stuff, I'm gonna rest your Sengoku then. Which means he cannot attack, and you cannot do, you cannot give minus 4 to my Gion. Therefore you can give minus 2 to maybe Sugar, or maybe 5, KO1, attack the other one, I'm gonna let you have one of them. Not all of them, I can let you have all of them actually, I don't need, I need a bit of war space actually, so yeah, go ahead, do whatever you need to do, do your wars. Because next, I'm building up a strong, strong, strong board, really strong board, and you're gonna be in a very troublesome situation to remove all of them. Okay, uh, does it come as an event card? I don't think it comes as an event card, yeah. So baby 5 is gone, which is okay. I mean, 8 to who? I don't, you know what? I don't really care which one you go to. You can go to anyone, 8 to anyone. You can get rid of my sugar, you can get rid of my gion. It's absolutely fine. So let's see. 6. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, blocker, okay, interesting. So he's playing completely, completely. Okay, let's think. I need one space for Sanji. One space for. Yeah, you can have him. Yeah, say goodbye to her. It's only due to the fact that I needed one space for each. So, Sanji, kid. Let's rest him, let's play beautiful Rosirante, let's give one down to um, Yusuf's Captain Kid, which means you can only attack him from now on, and he's gonna go fight to life, which my opponent's definitely gonna take because he has no more options. Next, I can play other cards as well, but I don't gonna go do, do that, I'm gonna take my time with this leader. This leader is not a rush card, he's not a red character leader, he's a green and blue. You need to take your time, you need to develop your board, you need to play a few strategy, and then you'll see that by the time you reach late stage of the game, your opponent won't be able to do anything else. For example, at the moment, he has to use crazy amount of dons if he wants to remove my Yusuf's Captain Kid or Sanji. If he wants to attack as well, I got one, two, three blockers. Plus, I got sugar, which means if he plays any character at the moment, I'm gonna rest this and Goku immediately. So this and Goku is kinda useless. And this blocker, sure, you can keep it. I don't really mind because 9k swing, wow, let's see. Give okay, up to one of your opponent character with a cost of four or less. That's fine, you got rid of one of my blockers. However, if you manage to get somehow rid of my useless captain kid, which is doable, I mean, you need to commit a lot, a lot, a lot of dons, which is acceptable, it's not a problem. You have to understand the fact that I got another one in my head. I can even play Doofy next. And keep your whole board blocked and then play another useless captain kid after that. There are so many things I can do out of it. So let's see what my opponent wants to do now. Okay. So 8. To useless captain kid. And which one are you managing? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If you give minus to my doofy, I'm just gonna get rid of my doofy then. Because I know your leader can use the effect and then you can put few dots to him. Yeah, there you go. Now, which one are you gonna get rid of? You need to put a lot of dumps again, try again, it's gonna be harder and harder and harder. I'm not gonna let you have him that easily. Next, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attack uh, Sengoku a couple of times, and then play Doofy, or not. Mm, let's see, there are so many things I can do actually. Now, if we place any character on the board, Tashigi gonna take care of it, and um, my sugar gonna be take care of Tashigi. Let's see, my opponent is in a tricky situation. Uh, okay, so Tashigi can be rested. Let's see, when attacking, give up to one of your opponent characters, minus three cost for the turn. Okay, interesting. However, you cannot attack. So one, the six, seven, eight, nine. I got a two K in my hand, so I'm golden, absolutely golden. So let's see, let's see. Nine, that's a two K easy counter, and that's gone. Now let's see. Mm, let's see if he wants to give out his blocker first. From there, we'll see. We'll come with a plan of action. Okay, if he gives, a, okay, decides to give out the blocker. However, I can keep attacking his whole board, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to play Doofy and have a, a stronger board presence now. Which means I can go again, um, 8 to life. And then I'm going to go 5 to life. And that's pretty much going to be game from the next opponent's turn. 
sure, and then Rosalanti coming to play. Fight to life, you have to give me one, one card from your hand now. Let's see. Okay, that's great stuff. Now, my opponent can attack as heavy as he can to my useless Captain Kid now. That's not a problem. However, however, even if you put all the down here and attack heavily, I have a blocker Rosalanti, which means my useless Captain Kid is going to stay alive now. There is nothing else he can do. And he has two cards in his hand. Maybe two here. I'm going to take my time now. Because I don't want to go for game immediately heavily. I can try actually. And 9, 9. I can try. But it's going to be greedy. I'd rather build up my board one more time and then go for that. But I got the feeling my opponent is going to just uh, concede and leave anytime soon. Because there's nothing much you can do. That's pretty much him. I still got 4 life. And he doesn't know the fact that I have 2, uses, two more uses Captain Kid in my hand. So. Uh, okay. Special attribute. Okay. That's fine. Um, Which one should I get rid of? Yeah. I can rest him. There you go. I still got your full board control now. I mean, I'm not even going to try to attack the smoker anyway. And the only one, I can go strike and I can attack smoker anyway. I can get rid of him. But there is no point to do that. So, board control first. Then we're going to play another useless Captain Kid. And that's it pretty much. After that, there is nothing much you can do. So, let's see. Okay, great stuff. Now, turn to Sengoku. Okay, so 9 to uh, Tashigi. 9 to Morgan. There you go. Nothing else my opponent can do. 5 to life. He has to take this one. And then I'm going to play another useless Captain Kid. And there is nothing much you can do after that. That's pretty much him. Any shenanigans? Maybe he'll be able to get rid of my sugar again with uh, Shockwave. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. And then another useless Captain Kid coming to play. And let's rest him. Choose no target. And that's it pretty much. Now, which one do you go for? I got counters in my hand. I got sugars ready into the field. You cannot play any character at, at the moment. You are in a very, very troublesome situation. Because you can get... You can give me up to minus one so far. Sugar, you need to get rid of like uh, two counts at least. And I'm afraid there is nothing much you can do. Mm, that's game pretty much, buddy. I have a massive board at the moment. So, he's trying heavily. That's how much is it? That's 10. No blocker. One and one, two. And that's it pretty much. You can put five here. I'm going to use my blocker. And the next turn is going to be game. So, that's pretty much it. So, GG, buddy. GG, buddy. And we're going to rest smoker. There you go. You cannot attack the smoker anymore. You always forget that there's sugar into the field. So, let's go for game then. Nine. And <laughs> he just has block, so that's 10. And last swing is gonna be with beautiful useless Captain Kid, and that's gonna be 9. Let's see. Let, let my component finish with honor. If he wants to decide all the cards in his hand, other than that, that's it pretty much. That's it, 8. And that's it. Take care. Let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing against Blue Purple Kaido. Now, let's drop our bony. Let's see if we manage to find our root, our beautiful uh, useless Captain Kid, and we flop, so there's nothing much you can do about that. Next, we're going to try again either with uh, Baby 5 and with Jerry Bonnie as well. We're going to try one of each. Um, I believe I should go first with Bonnie then. Sure, you can have uh, your dome back and then... You didn't use Ronigashima? Interesting, interesting. But nothing much you can do. So let's try again with Bonnie one more time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We flop, and I got the feeling next uh, couple of draws going to be with uh, Usos uh, Captain coming up. There you go. I knew that. I knew that for a fact. Now, two of them are already going at the bottom of my deck. Very, very annoying. So I need to come up with a different strategy to play against my opponent now. So let's see how I can play around that. And our turn. Our opponent still has 4 lives, he just used a Raju to counter that. 6 down, maybe playing King now? Yeah, definitely playing King. No, he's not playing King, he just wants to ramp up again. Uh, sure, you can have him, I'm not even going to try to protect that. 5 downs left, Queen coming into play then. No. Interesting, he's not doing anything yet. So let's grab Rosirante, definitely. He's a big, big, valuable card. And then we're going to play him again, and we're going to grab, let's see, Dofi. Which is great, so we're going to go uh, 5 to life, and then we're going to sort out the top 5 cards from our deck. Okay, Dofi. Okay, let's start placing it on top, so I'm at 8. I'm going to be at 8. Uh, yeah, I, I want my key, um, use of Captain Kid immediately, and then I want another Dofi, which is going to sort out my, my uh, top 5 cards from now on now and onwards. Now, 9 down. Mm, he still didn't play Onigashima, which I'm surprised, honestly. Okay, big swing again to my searchers. Yeah, he just wants to get rid of all my searchers, which I'm okay with it. I don't need them anymore. Okay, I'm losing, let's see, Dofi and Sugar. That's fine. I don't need them any anyway, so I'm okay with that. And playing Shaka, uh, Sasaki, which helped him to uh, sort out his hand. Now, Let's keep a bit of board control then. Gravity Blade, one or two, say goodbye to them. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, five to life. And then I'm gonna do another quick search and look for something valuable from our side. Great stuff, let's see. Dofi, yep, we're gonna grab again Dofi and end our turn. Next, great, great stuff. Middle cards coming up in my way. From next turn, my opponent's gonna be in big, big trouble. So, two blockers, interesting. Then, if with my Dofi, I find the other Gravity Blade which I'm running in this deck, he will be in trouble. Shall I counter this one now? Yeah, I'm gonna counter this one now. So, one and one, two. Only to the fact that I already have plenty of cards in my hand which are extremely, extremely valuable already. So, let's rest him. Let's choose Doofy. Re okay, let's start to place them on top. Red Rock definitely coming up next. Sugar. Okay, it's gonna be 6. 
Um, seven, eight. I want sugar, and then I'm gonna play with the rest of them. Now, I got one door left. Uh, I wanted to attack first, but then I, um, I wanted to do the search first, but then I realized I was able to make a huge, huge mistake now again. Because if I would have done the search, top five card, and then got rid of a few other cards. Now, eight, absolutely not. So you can have uh, one more Rosinante, and that's it. We're good to go again. Red Rock, great stuff. So let's go. Nine to life. Yeah, you have to decide whether you want to take it or not. Let's do a quick search. Let's grab Goofy or Sugar. I want Sugar, honestly, and send the rest of them at the bottom of my deck. Let's get rid of Yusuf's Captain Kid, which we're going to keep ramping up uh, the card for you. And we're going to deploy our beautiful, beautiful um, Rosirante and, and uh, attack with five. And my opponent got confused. He didn't use Queen, which is okay. Which is extremely, extremely okay. Now, okay, Kaido coming into the play. Getting rid of my Rosirante. Now, now, he, he need to be extremely, extremely careful, though. You have to realize that, no, I'm going to be like, I got my blocker. I got another blocker still in my field. Now, we're going to go nine. We're going to do a quick search again and look out for zero cost event. Eh, I'm going to grab a 2k. Then, let's sort out the top 5 card in my life. Start placing it on top. Guess what? I want an, um, red drop next. And then I'm going to grab my beautiful uh, user's captain kit again. Now, I can go 6 to life then. Let's see if my opponent wants to give it out. Okay, so what I can do is play a blocker again. And then I can go 10 to Kaido or let's leave sugar. You know what? Let's leave sugar. We're going to choose anyone and I'm going to go 1, 2. Big swing to Kaido. 11 to Kaido. Now he has to give me 2k from his hand or the blocker. Okay, so we are hand starving him as well. Now I got 1, 2, 3 blocking in the field, and my opponent needs to come up with a new strategy to win. Also, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There are plenty of things I can do. Uh, sure, I guess I can just counter it out with 2 2k's. No, I mean I can do 2 and 1k. That's fine. And now if you want to attack with Kaido as well, you have to don't active actually. You could have done many things. But I'm going to just take it in my life because I got a few more life. Now, whatever you play, you'll be in trouble. Look at this. Red Rock. Say goodbye to your Kaido. No more valuable Kaido anymore. So 9 to life. Queen. No queen. Great stuff. Let's do a quick search. Mm, I forgot that I already placed my cards on the top, so I'm just gonna grab Doofy. That's fine, and I'm gonna go big 7k to life. You have to give me 2k and 1k from your hand. Let me see if you had them. 2 and 1. You had them, honestly. You could have done so many things, actually. You were in a terrible situation, I know, but you could have done many, many other things. But that's pretty much it for the game, so let's go for another game. Okay. Okay, so we are playing against Purple Ramp Luffy. Now, for the time being, there's nothing much I can do except dropping my searcher and looking for a Rosirante. Or a Dofi. I can grab, I'm more than happy to grab Dofi and end my turn. Unfortunately, two more of my searches they went to, at the bottom of my deck. Um, now, yeah, I definitely want to take this one, and then from there we proceed. So, wrapping up one down, seven cards in your hand, flashing two cards which are kind of well valuable, honestly. One of them was valuable, one of them not. However, there's nothing much I can do about it. However, what I can do, um, I can go for, you know what, I'm gonna play slow and steady. Rosirante again with my hand, um, Dofi, so let's sort out the top cards. Um, you know what, they don't bring me any value, so I just want to send them at the bottom of my deck, and I'm gonna go fight for life, so my opponent has to give me one card from his hand now. Great, great stuff. Now, he decided to give out his queen, no problem. I got six cards, I wonder if he runs another top of the low or not, we don't know yet. So, he's still ramping up, six down, Magellan may be coming to play, maybe, maybe not, I don't know yet. We have to take our time, play around that, and let's see how we can work our opponent's uh, strikes. Now, I don't want to give him out, so I'm gonna go like this, and now if you want to attack with low, go ahead, that's fine, it's just a blocker at the end of the day, so he has done his purpose anyway. So, six, seven, Eight. Wow, that's a big, big swing coming up towards my face then. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, I'm not even going to try to protect that at this stage. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There are so many things I can play around. Blocker, and then one, two, three. To low then. Yeah, let's go like this. So, low. Eight to low. He's a blocker. He has done his purple, so you can say goodbye to him. Start placing up top. Six, seven, eight. I definitely want him. Him. And maybe Bonnie later on. Yes, Bonnie, because he can bring me some value. And that's it pretty much. Now, we are doing good. We are doing extremely, extremely good. So, six to life. I mean, no. I got 2k counter just to counter it out. 7 down, who you wanna play? Okay. Um, that's fine as well, you can get rid of one of my blockers. Now, back to life. Let's see what you wanna do. Okay, counter it out. Let's rest him and let's play my beautiful Rosirante. And from now on, we are only going downhill. Now, you can play up your Kaido, 10 drop Kaido, returning all the downs and play around that. However, I'm not gonna let you have it that easily. I mean, you can attack life as well. That's an option, honestly. So, 8, that's an easy, easy counter out with 1k. You need to be careful though, if you wanna do it. That's 9, that's 2k counter. So, um, 9 to life. Let's take that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we got a good card in our hand. In our hand. Now, 6. Um, I'm gonna give you one more Rosinante. That's fine. At the moment, it's bringing me no more value at all. Okay, great stuff. So, let's go for board control now. I mean, if you wanna give me a few cards from your hand, that's fine. Uh, Red Rock, this card needs to go away immediately. Let's play another Rosinante, and then we're gonna go again 6 to him. I want another card from your hand, please. Great, great stuff. Now, now we need to commit a lot, a lot, a lot of dons to play around that. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so I'm gonna go Rosinante. Use a Captain Kid, six, but he's not bringing you any value anymore. So we're gonna go again. Nine to you. Okay, then Rosinante, another card, sugar, choose no target, that's fine, and I'm gonna go seven to life, and you have to give me two K from your hand now. 
okay i got my whole board completely filled up plus i got one two three four five blockers as sugar which can rest use of captain kit for whatever my opponent decides to play yep my opponent realized that it was almost impossible for him to win from this point onwards and he decided to quit okay let's go for another game then okay so we are playing against uh, jewelry bunny let's wait for our opponent to decide what he wants to do and from there we'll proceed with our gameplay now i'm gonna go second so at least if my opponent decides to um, top up his hand which is not doing at the moment it's okay so I, there is nothing much i can do as well from my side and i'm gonna pass our turn now quick search let's see what who he wants to get i will let him i want him to get as many cards as he want from his um, from the search and then my beautiful beautiful shell pudding is gonna get rid of his whole hand immediately okay another quick research go ahead go ahead let's see i want you to find all the cards you need which are gonna get let's get rid of them immediately now let's get rid of one of the jewelry money which i don't want them around and then you know what i'm gonna take it slow i'm gonna play gion and end of my turn so do another quick search look out for the card you need i wonder if he wants to play cavendish first or not we'll see we'll see okay cavendish so he'll be able to do a quick search with bunny find the card he needs there you go hawkins great stuff seven cards in your hand five to life i mean i can take it yeah let's take the first one uh cost four less i believe yeah i don't want to use the red rock now then okay so how do i play around that Okay, let's get rid of a uh, uh, bony then and you can use uh, your leader's effect just rest mine okay great stuff how many cards do you have seven say goodbye to all the cards you've been looking for and then i'm gonna play my own bony and do a quick search and we managed to flop we didn't manage to get anyone valuable okay never mind it's part of the game and that's it pretty much now i want him to play a big character at the moment from there we play around that now seven cards maybe hawkins can come into play he will be useful however if i rest all my characters he'll bring you no more value actually so let's see what he wants to do big swing to bonnie i believe then you want to get rid of it which is understandable uh okay so i won't even try gonna try to protect this character he's gone it's fine and it's gonna be seven to bonnie then let's see let's see okay seven to bonnie that's gone nothing much i can do so let's see what can i get nothing valuable at the moment yet so i can go i mean he's gonna rest my shallow pudding anyway so i can just play my yeah i just gonna need three any three to play it around so one more done, sorry. Cavendish, I'm coming for you. Thank you, Cavendish. You can rest my pudding, I don't really mind. You can give me the blocker or you can get rid of Cavendish. Entirely up to you. Mm, honestly, I'll just get rid of my uh, blocker, but wow, wow, he flopped big, big time. Okay, never mind. We just played our blocker, Mune, which is gonna have the same effect as. Uh, not the same effect, it's a blocker, sorry, and on block, I'm gonna rest Urug. Now, okay, use a Captain Kid. Great, great stuff. One done, and I believe I was running to play then. Let's see, let's see. Iso, I'm um, sure, I guess. And yes, of course, that's not a problem. Now, I'm at 10 done. However, I'm not gonna let you have Iso Scrap and Kid playing around. So we can go 6 to life and then play another blocker then. 6 to life and play the blocker. I mean, definitely you wanna take this one. I don't want. Yeah, I had the feeling you don't wanna waste as many any more cards from your hand. Okay, so we're doing okay so far. Next, we're gonna be at 10 done. Maybe we'll be able to play our Doofy. Rescue characters from our opponent field. Okay, Hawking's coming to play, which is okay. Now, uh, five to four. Mm. No, I just gonna go like this. Rest your uh, mune, uh, or your blocker, and then you can go seven to him, which is okay. No blocker, and that's fine. Now, ooh, we got our useless captain kid, but it's kind of pointless. So I'm gonna go five to life, hoping for him to go fall for the trap with, with Hawkins. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Great, great stuff. Um, ooh, I almost dropped the wrong card. Let's play Doofy. Let's block one, two, and three, and let's end our turn. Okay, so what do you want to do? Even if you play Doofy, it's not bringing you any value. Another uh, useless Captain Kid. Nothing I can do about it. So let's see how we can play around that, actually. Mm, let's think, let's think. I need a few blockers, and I get two useless Captain Kid now. Okay, never mind. Let's go... Yeah, 10 to you. I mean... Yeah, sure, that's not a problem either. I could have gone a bit heavier, but that's fine. 10, one more card, please. Okay, you have your one. Uh, I got my one as well. And let's rest him. Let's see. Hmm... How do I play on that? Mm, choose no target then and end our turn. Now, my opponent thinks if he put all the cards he has in his hand and attack to my um, useless Captain Kid, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let him go. That's not the case now. He's at 8k block, it's 8k blocker, which I want which I really really need to keep him alive. So 11, and then he has few more blockers. So I'm gonna go 1 and 1, 2, plus 2k. Now, you need to commit a lot more dons, like all of them, to attack again. Let's see how you wanna play around that. Okay, that's how much is it? That's 10. Now you're gonna be left with four. 
which is not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna use a blocker. Let's take that. Oh, great stuff. We managed to get another Rosinante, and then he's playing a blocker now. Okay, okay. There is so many things we can do about it. First of all, we're gonna swing with Dofi. Then to Eustace. Oh, even better. Look, Gravity Blade. So Dofi blocker. Say goodbye to them. Now uh, I can go then to uh, Eustace Captain Kid. I'm pretty sure you have nobody which can protect him. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, uh, I just only want onto him. And then I'm gonna play Rosinante then. So yeah, I'm gonna go first to life and leave Rosinante into the field. And that's it, which means you are in trouble. Now I have two blockers, you need to commit as many dons as you want to try to get rid of him. I'm not gonna let you have him that easily. Yeah, you can freeze my Doofy, which is okay. But you're still not in range to get rid of my useless Captain Kid now. Okay, that's eight. That's an easy counter out. Now, again, we're gonna go big swing to uh, Brazil. You can rest my uh, blocker Rosinante, however, you have to remember the fact. Okay, you don't gonna do that? Even better. There you go, I got another one, and I'm gonna put it like that. We're not gonna deploy anyone, and that's it. We are good to go. I have I have two of them now into the field. You are in a big, big troublesome situation. Because you need to get rid of at least one, and you're gonna struggle a lot. I mean, you need to commit a lot, a lot, a lot of downs now. Okay, that's a big, big swing coming up. Okay, Rosinante. So that's 10. Um, then, you're gonna be another 10 key swing. So, one of them I'm gonna take. Doofy into play, great stuff. And the next one, there are so many things I can do actually. I can I can protect him or not? Should I protect him actually? And go for board control after. Yeah, definitely protect him and go for board control from that. So eight, that's not gonna happen. That's a 2k easy counter. And if we, if we want to commit all the dons you got left to go for him, um no, and it's gonna be like this, easy, easy counter out. Okay, so um how do I play around that? I can go full board control. Yes, let's go for board control then. That's the jury bonding gone. Yeah, Dofi can be rested, I don't really mind. Okay, that's one. I mean, then I'm gonna get Cavendish. And whatever I got left. To Bonnie. Okay, great stuff. Now, two of them, they need to go five and a lot of them here, honestly. And you need to try to get rid of one of these two. I won't let you have both of them. I mean, it's gonna be crazy hard. You need to be a nine. Okay, Holy Jones. Um, sure. I guess. So, Holy's at eight. Eight to eight. I'm not gonna let you have that easily. So, that's one. Easy counter. Let's see. And my coupon concedes because he realized there was nothing much he could have done anyway. So, yeah, I had terrible control in this game. And that's pretty much it. So, let's go for another matchup. Great, great stuff. Okay, so we are playing against Monkey D. Luffy. Now, nothing much I can do for the time being. So, all I'm going to do is just level up my sugar and leave, leave it on the board to have a bit of board presence in case he wants to play Zoro Juro from the early stage of the game. If he doesn't want to do that, it's okay. If you want to go for 8k big swing to life, I just got to take that. Okay, so he's just going to go 6 to life, I believe. No, 7 to life, 8 to life, 9 to life, okay. Yeah, big swing, I won't be able to counter it out, so I just wanna let it go, which is okay. Next, I'm gonna play Monet then. Uh, actually, Doofy, actually. I can play Doofy. So let's go big 6k to life, so 6 to 6. He has to give me 1k counter, he decides to opt in to take the hit, so Doofy. Wow, start placing on top, it's gonna be a great, great matchup now. So, I'm a 4, let's go. Um, actually, let's go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and he's gonna come into play. Great, great stuff. Now, if I manage to develop my board from this stage of the game, which will be golden, yeah, Mr. Tubonclay definitely gonna be rested because it's way, way too dangerous to leave him on the field. Now, two more dons, you can attack my sugar, and I just gonna let her go. Or not. Mm, I think I don't wanna let her go, actually. I'm gonna use blocker, a doofy, and keep her, keep her around. And then I'm gonna play a Rosirante or Monet, just to keep a bit of board presence. And how many dons, how many cards my opponent has? Seven cards? Yeah, I can get rid of a few cards from my opponent's hands as well. Let's see how we can play around that. So, six, seven, I mean... Sugar brings more value than Doofy at the moment. Doofy is a blocker, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let it out. Now. Seven donk, seven cards in his hand, which means I gotta just destroy his whole hand, get rid of um, Mr. Tubon Clay, and then develop our board with a Rosirante. There you go, great stuff. So at least we have a bit of protection on top of that. Um, Sugar stays alive. Whatever he plays now, I'm just gonna rest it immediately. Now, let's see what he gets. Uh, Edward Newgate, wow. Okay, we're gonna rest in uh, the Beast Newgate. And then... How many don't I got? Six. Uh, you're gonna be a seven, eight. I think I'm gonna give him a Rosinante for the time being. Let's see how many blocks I lost. Yeah, that's good. Now, eight done. We're gonna red block him because he's way, way too powerful to be left around. Seven to life. There's no value at all. So, guess what? Another Rosinante coming to play. We're doing good. We're doing good. If he plays another, maybe, Shanks. Okay, wow. And let's rest Shanks then. And he's gonna get rid of my beautiful uh, Sugar at the moment. Nothing I can do. So, goodbye, Sugar. It was a pleasure to play with you. However, Sanji. We're gonna deploy our resource Captain Kid, we're gonna use the effect, and we're gonna deploy our beautiful Rosirante. Give one down to resource Captain Kid, and my opponent is forced, forced, forced to attack my useless Captain Kid from now on. Great, great stuff. Now, we've got a bit of board presence. Next, boom, 12 to life. I'm um, sorry, I just gonna use Rosirante as a blocker. So, 
how you gonna play around that then? Okay, blocker, interesting. Another blocker, interesting. Uh, sure, eight. That's an easy 2k counter. I mean, I don't even want to waste my Rooster Hunter then. Now. Um, okay, let's go 9 to life. Let's see if he wants to give me a blocker when he wants to take the life. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, he opted to take the life, so I'm going to go as a Sanji then. Now he has to give me one of the blocker. Let's see, he trash one card. He gains 2k, but he needs to gain a few more, like two more k from his hand. Okay, great, great stuff. Now, I'm going to use Scarpenting coming to play. Uh, sorry, cancel. Rest him. Let's play him uh, instead of Charlotte pulling because she's not bringing me any more value. And then we have like a full board full of blockers. Completely full of blockers. Now, Dragon. Okay, great stuff. So he's at 8. 9. Okay, that's 9 to life. I'm going to go with a blocker and rest one of your blockers. That's good. Now, I don't use the card action, which I'm okay with. Now, 9. Mm, let's go no blocker. We're going to go 1 and 1, 2. Great stuff. Shanks. Um, I don't know if he's resilient, I'm just going to take the life to my hit, to my life, and that's it pretty much. Now, my opponent is in big, big, big trouble. So, let's go 9 to life. Let's see if he has a radical beam. Or he wants to give me the blocker. If he gives me the blocker, I'm going to go for full, full board control immediately. So, let's see. Okay, radical beam, okay, which is great. Now, let's go 9 again. To Luffy. He needs to have, these two cards need to be 2 k's at least. So, which means he has to give me the blocker. Now. 9 to life again, actually no, let's go 10, 11, just to go for sure, which means he's, he has to give me the blocker now, and then we're going to go again 11 to life, and that should be game anyway. I mean, you can give me the blocker, but after that it's going to be 11k, they only need to be 2k counter, other than that is they're not valuable. Okay, so, you're trashing one card from hand, he's going to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, 10, it needs to be 2k though, okay, okay, wow, so I, I need to develop a bit of board control then, I got, uh, and they're going to have 8, yeah, I'm just going to go like this. 8 to life, I mean you're going to give me the blocker. Okay, now, we need to play strategically now. Which cards we can get rid of, which cards we cannot get rid of. If he has a 10 drop Luffy, hmm, no, he disconnected. Okay, let me see, let me see how we could have played it out. So, let's say Shanxi attack here, I use the blocker, and rest this card, okay? Now, Dragon, he tries again, I use Rosirante, and Luffy tries again, I use my blocker. Okay, so yeah, there was not much in LeBron. Okay, great stuff, let's go for another game. Okay, so, we are playing against Dragon, the evolutionary Revolutionary Army Leader. Now, I will go second, so therefore what I'm going to do is develop our board by placing Baby 5 and let's start to look for... Hmm, Rosirante maybe? Or Duffy? Tricos Duffy. Either they're both okay, they're both good anyway, so I'm going to grab Tricos Duffy only through the fact that I want to make sure I'll be able to place... Um, use a Captain Kid, the 8th cost one, in synergy with Sanji, so I'll be able to play both of them together. Now, 7 to me, my searcher, I mean, please, uh, go ahead, let's take care of it, nothing else I can do at the moment. And then, my opponents decide to get Limberg, I believe. Okay, interesting, interesting to see. Now, let's do another quick research then. Let's go, let's go, let's, go, let's see. Uh, let's grab Monet then, or a 2 counter. Mm, Monet, because at least he can rest one of my opponent's character with a cost of um, uh, 4 or less, and I'm going to get rid of Bello Betty. Now, now, with the Revolutionary Army, we always need to go for board control as well, because it's through the fact that they are extremely fast and they are extremely aggressive, especially with this Dragon, for example. Dragon would have attached 2 down to him, attack with 7, attach 2 more down to Bello Betty, and make Bello Betty attack again, plus develop his board. So, I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna protect you, and I'm gonna give you Mune, and that's it, you forgot that I had a blocker. Great, great stuff. Now, next, I need to start to develop, uh, oh, he decided to get rid of it, anyway. That's the first time I'm seeing a dragon playing Nico Robin, which is okay, and then playing Kid and Killer, Grush, and getting rid of my baby 5 then. Sure, that's not a problem, it's acceptable, I respect that. Now, I got Dove in my hand, however, however, um, let's see, so I can go 1, 2, 3, big 8k swing to Kid and Killer, I want 2k from your hand, 2 cards from your hand, he decided to not go for it, so let's play Dove. Uh, start placing on the top, I mean, I want at least one, like two of the Rosirantes, because otherwise they're gonna be gone forever. So, let's end our turn. Um, that's kinda annoying, the fact that I didn't manage to get any, any useful cards for the time being. Now, why are you attaching to Don't see him anyway? This card cannot be KO'd by battling strike attribute character, so... That's fine, I can uh, attack him with something else. Um, 7 to life, let's see. There you go, use the Captain Chief coming into play. 2, uh, one more down to you, Nick Robin. So that's 5, let's give you... One of the Rosirantes, because there's another one coming up in my... Uh, to me very very soon anyway. Great, great stuff. Now, mm, yeah, let's get rid of Robin. I want to keep board control, fully board control. And let's rest him and let's play another Doofy. Start placing on top. I want Gravity Blade next. And then the uh, Rosirante, sure. And then the other cards. Great, great stuff. Let's end our turn. Now, we're doing okay so far. We have three blockers into the field. And okay, he's going heavy with Dragon. So it's gonna be the big swing Dragon. I'm gonna take that. There's no chance I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter it out. So it's gonna be, mm, let's see, 11, 
We'll be able to calculate that. 11, yeah, I just gonna give you all my blockers. That's crazy. That's, if you really think I wanna give you Easter Capricorn, he brings way, way, way too much value. So, Luffy is at, I don't know how much is it, 8 to 8. I mean, that's crazy. I don't wanna give it to you that easily. There you go, that's 2k counter. And then you can go 5 to life. I mean, that's fine as well. Okay, one down to you. Dragon is at, I don't know, 9. So, 10, 11, 12. 13. 14. Yeah, 14. I mean, he doesn't get it. Let it go. It's a big swing. You have to let it go. Okay, great stuff. We're gonna develop our board with Rudinant again, and we're gonna go two more dons to Luffy, 7 to 3. He needs to go away as well because it's way too dangerous. Now, hopefully, my opponent wants to develop his board with a few smaller characters and he thinks, okay, we might be able to play something around it. I will not let him do that. There you go. One Limberg. Play something else, please. I want a few smaller bodies again. Limberg is flying outside the window. I promise you that. He's not seeing here. Luffy, he's not bringing you any value. 6 to him. I mean, there's nothing you can do, honestly. You're gonna touch two don to Luffy. You cannot do that. You don't have enough, enough dons. Now, you are in trouble. Guess what? Gravity Blade 1 and 2. Say goodbye to him. And let's go 9 to face. Now, you have to take this hit. And from the next one, we should be golden. So, there you go. Back to life. And then we're going to develop our board with another Rosie Rante. There you go. Great, great stuff. Now, next, uh, I'm going to take Sanji, which is going to bring me back another blocker, which is great. And then we're going to start to develop our board further and further and further. So, 9. I'm going to be like extremely big no. No, I don't need to use the card action. That's fine. You can have one more Rosie Rante. So, that's 7, 8, 9. And there you go. Let's resolve the attack. And we should be good to go. Now, even though I want to play Sanji, I want to play Doofy, just to keep a bit of board presence. And then, let's go. Let's go 5 to Jesus uh, Killer Killer. Only for the fact that I want my opponent to give me a card from his hand now. Okay, great stuff. But why not? I just want to attack you as well with my Jesus Captain Kid. You need to give me a few cards from your hand as well now. Great stuff. Your dragon is blocked. You, need to, you can start to develop your board. However, I got two big blockers now. Okay, that's one. That's Sanji. That's Sanji again. Okay. Uh, how do I play that? I don't remember which card I have got after that. I think I got a baby 5 after this one. Okay, you know what? Let's go... 9 to life then. Okay, a few more cards please. Okay, wow. Uh, sure, then I'm gonna go 5 to life then. There you go, you gotta take this one anyway. Okay, 10 to life. And then I'm gonna drop in 2 more blockers. Great, great stuff. Any shenanigans, let's see. Any, any event card which can kill my characters? No, so 1 and 2 blockers. I mean, I can even go like 7 to life. You know what? Doofy, 7 to life. And that's it pretty much, that should be game. Because I got 3 blockers into the field, actually 4. You need to commit a lot of dons to get rid of my useless captain kid, which is gonna be really hard through the fact that Monet, we're gonna get rid of one of your blockers. Great, great stuff. Yeah, my opponent realized there was nothing much he could have done. My board was way, way too strong. Great stuff, let's go for another game then. Okay, so we are playing against Purple Kaido. Okay, good starting hand, nothing fancy about it. We're just gonna deploy our, hmm, you know what? I don't wanna deploy anyone. Only to the fact that he might have killed um, King, cost 6, which can just drop and get rid of uh, a character from my board. Interesting, the fact that my opponent decided to not attack as well. Mm, therefore, I just want to go 5 to life and develop my board as well with Gion. Which means if my opponent decides to play any, any event card, he has to trash a card from his hand as well. Actually, it's kind of valuable, this card. Now, let's see what he wants to do now. He has 6 dons. Okay, missed it to Bonclay. Okay, that's fair, which is kind of annoying, but we have to deal with it. And then, 3 more dons. Big, big 8k swing. No, he's just developing his board. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Now, I'm at 6 already. So, let's go 6 to life then. Okay, my opponent decided to go for it. Um, draw one card. Okay, interesting. So he's just gonna develop, keep developing his board. So I'm gonna go seven to life then. And then I'm gonna drop, drop our beautiful, beautiful Dofi. Okay, Dofi coming to play. Definitely gonna start to place him on top. Now, I won't be needing Pudding, uh, Shadow Pudding, but I won't be needing Rosirante. Now, I won't be needing Rosirante for the time being. I'm gonna get Boni. Yeah, Boni, then Rosirante, then Sugar. Okay, that should be good to go. And, and our turn. Now, then, uh, then done. Maybe. Okay, interesting. Uh, Shadow Leaning coming to play. Nothing I can do about it. Maybe he's gonna just clean one life and leave my board as it is. Let's see. I don't know if you wanna get rid of my Doofy or not. Entirely up to you. No, he got rid of my Gion, which is interesting. Does he wanna use the Lyrus effect? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. So, 6, uh, I, that's an easy 2k counter, which is gonna counter out immediately. Now, even though I wanted to play Useless Captain Kid, we have to get rid of Big Mom immediately. He's way, way, way too dangerous. Therefore, I'm gonna go just 5 to life. And then. Then. I'm just gonna leave. Um, Rosirante into the field and end my turn. So at least I can have two blockers. However, I'm more than happy to go to take some damage for the life. Depending who he wants to play. Another big mom, okay, there is nothing much I can do about it. Okay, great stuff. Now he's not attacking with uh, Mr. Tubonke okay? and he's getting rid of a few cards from me. However, however. Okay, so, oh, available card sugar, but if I remember correctly, I think I did put it with one of the sugar on top. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. Now, that's how, where the game gets interesting. We're gonna rest him. We're gonna play another Rosirante, therefore our beautiful kid is safe. And then we can go 5 to life. Yeah, we're gonna go 5 to life and leave our Bonnie into the field just for the next turn to do a couple of searches and look for another useless Captain Kid.
way great stuff. Okay, I'll do Mr. Tugonkwe coming up. However, however, he's not going to bring you much of a value for the time being. Only through the fact that um, I'm going to have Sugar coming up very, very soon. And I'm going to attack to Mr. Tugonkwe. Now, if you attack with uh, Charlotte Linin, it's not going to bring you much of a value. So that's 10, 11. I'm going to give you one of my Rosirante, and that's fine. So, uh, sure, you can trash one of my life. However, you have no more done active. On top of that, Sugar coming into the play. Now, one down to you. However, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four. Uh, five. Yeah, it's gonna be a big, big swing to you. 14 to 9. Let's see if you have enough counter. I doubt you have that. Then, he's at 1k. I just need one for a search. Therefore, I'm gonna go 6 to Mr. Kubonkle. Keyboard control and do a quick, quick research. And let's see if we get another beast who uses Captain Kid. Which you do. End of our turn. Now, our opponent, there is nothing he can do. He has no more cards, no more dons. He wasted everything to get rid of my lives. And guess what? I'm gonna play another uses Captain Kid. And that's gonna be pretty much game for you. Because you won't be able to counter it out after that. Okay, great stuff. Anything valuable? Let's see if we get a 10 drop Kaido. Hmm, let's see. Nothing nothing important, so I'm gonna go like this. Um, I don't even need to rest him now. So I can just do a quick research. That's it, I'm gonna go first to life. And actually, you know what? Let's rest him. Choose no targets, and that should be good to go. Now, even if we play anything, anything at all, my sugar gonna rest him. You're in a big troublesome situation. You're just doing a lot of searches. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. There you go, Black Maria gets rested. Okay, you have 8 dons, but... What are you gonna do about it? You're just gonna get rid of one of my life. You can keep doing that, but it's not gonna bring you any, any, any value at the moment. So we're gonna go nine to life then. Okay. Again, you're just ramping up dawns. That's fine. Nine to life again. Okay. So then we can do a quick research. Then let's see if we find another research captain kid. Great stuff. So our hand is completely stuck, and we're gonna get rid of your. Well, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And our opponent concede because he realized there was nothing much he could have done anyway. He had only bricks in his hand, and that was game. Okay. Great stuff. Let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing against Black, Yellow, Monkey, the Luffy, one of many favorites. So we just we just gonna have to play our baby fight first of all and do a quick research. Let's see who we find. Nothing very interesting. I really need that gravity, gravity blade, but there's nothing much I can do. So I just gonna grab a 2k counter and pass my turn. Now my opponents, I know for a fact he doesn't run any counter um, counter event cards, which is okay. Now he's playing Hiori, replacing the top of his life with I believe uh, one of the big brothers, and then gonna play something around that. Now is, is he gonna go six to life? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Six to life. I definitely gonna counter it out. This, uh, there is no point for me to start to take so many damages from this early stage of the game. That's fantastic that we found our beautiful uh, gravity blade. Now we're gonna grab sugar or dofi. I got the feeling sugar won't bring much of a value in this matchup, so let's grab a dofi. It's okay, and then we're gonna go five to life, and our opponent definitely gonna take that. Let's see, let's see. Okay, he decided to counter it out, which is okay. Let's start to sort of the top cards, which is fantastic now, because the way I wanna play that is I'm at four, so it's gonna be five six. Um, okay, let's let's go like this. Um. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10. And then I can play, okay, so if I'm uh, 4, 5, 6, I'm gonna draw him. 7, 8, I'm gonna draw uh, Mune. 9, 10, I'm gonna draw Charlotte Pudding, but I'm gonna play Sanji, and I'm gonna play my um, useless Captain Kid, and from there, we're gonna have a great, great, great advantage. Now, my opponent has 3 dons. Um, 5 dons playing, okay, Ace, going for um, bigger Ace into the field, which is okay. However, I don't know how much value you're gonna bring at the moment, due to the fact that, oh yeah, he got Rush, okay. Big swing coming to face, I believe. Nine to life. I mean, I don't. I don't even want to try to protect that, which is okay. And then he decided to not attack with Ace. I got six don cards. Hmm. How can I play around that? I don't want to do another research at the moment because I already have my top uh, cards sorted out. So what I can do is just to put a bit of pressure. Then you know what? Let's deploy Dofi. So I'm at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm gonna play this. And I, I want to draw a red rock after that. Great stuff. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, and big swing with the. Uh, Put it on the 8 to life and let it go like that. Let's see, let's see. Great, great stuff. Any shenanigans? Let's see. Maybe Nami from Egghead is rare. That's the black yellow Luffy runs that, but oh, I forgot Monkey Luffy for cost. Okay, how silly of me. Now, my opponent is a 7 done. Let's see if he wants to play some shenanigans around that. Other than that, we are still building up our board slowly, slowly. Now, I got a beautiful gravity blade which is gonna get rid of Ace and uh, maybe any other card he plays around that. Okay, he decides to go for the removal, placing two cards, uh, placing two dons to the leader using his effect. Let's see what he, what he wants to play. Now, definitely this ace is going away, and another card. We might grab to play next. And from the following turn, we should be golden. We should be absolutely golden. Let's see, let's see. Mm, okay, is he using the leader effect? He's not using the leader effect, which is kind of strange. Um... 
I don't want to this one out. Uh, definitely I'm going to use the red rock and send it at the bottom of the deck the block here. Ace. Okay, big swing with Ace. I'm going to counter this one out. Okay, but that's weird because he has only 4 cards in his hand. I can even go for game now. 3 attack, attack. Big swing. 13 to face. I don't think you have enough counter anyway. So I think you misplayed it a bit. You see, talk maybe with the block he was going to survive. But there's no chance. And that's game. Let's go for another game then.